um, so we'll look at um, some more examples under uh, infinite series and um, the questions uh, these examples that we are looking at uh, they they require us to either apply the ratio test or the root test okay so the question reads determine the con uh, convergence or divergence of the following series using the ratio the ratio or the root test okay so I have in the past looked at um, uh, or talked about um, the theory section under the root test and the ratio test you can check out the link of the two videos under the root test and the ratio test in the, in the description below if you want to understand how everything uh, is done under the, root, under the root test as well as the ratio test in this video I'm just going to talk about um, these examples I'm just going to go ahead and solve them but if you need the introduction the theory and the like can look at the links in the dis description below okay so uh, the first example uh, I'm going to use um, I'm going to use the the root test okay and looking at what we have we have this one and that one they have a factorial as you're able to see I advise to say when you have questions that have a factorial we have a series that has a factorial I advise you to use the ratio test okay just in case you are in a situation where you are debating whether you should use the root test or the ratio test or the question just open when you see a factorial it's much convenient to use the uh, the when you have a factorial it's much convenient to use the ratio test okay so for the first one here uh, the way we apply the root test is this way okay uh, we say um, the the limit okay the limit as n approaches infinity okay as n approaches infinity then you're going to have your nth root okay nth root of the absolute value of your a sub n which is your series okay then this one is going to give you l then the value of l that you get is the one that you're going to um, try to uh, make a conclusion from is it greater than one is the value of l less than one or is it equals to one okay and to find out uh, which one of those is when it converges diverges or when you are unable to make a conclusion okay so here I'll say the limit as n approaches positive infinity then um, I can actually say n uh, nth root of my series so the series that I have I can actually simplify this I can just write this as uh, for this part uh, let me just do this I can write it as 2 multiplied by 3 divided by n okay to the power n like that so I can write this 2 multiplied by 3 divided by n to the power n of which this can be also be written as the limit as n approaches infinity then you have like your 2 multiplied by 3 divided by n to the power n but because I've chosen not to write the root like that I can write it as uh, 1 over 1 over n of which this is just more like the limit as n approaches infinity of uh, this one and that one is going to cancel out when you kind of like bring it inside so that would be like 2 multiplied by 3 divided by n so when you when you substitute here you put infinity that would be like 2 multiplied by 3 divided by infinity which is a 0 and you know that 0 is less than is less than 1 so we have observed to say your L is, is equals to 0 so here are the three situations that we can find ourselves with okay uh, here are the three situations that we can find ourselves with so this when L is greater than 1 is when L and this is for both the root test and the ratio test there's when L is less than 1 and there's when L is equals to 1 so if your L is greater than 1 meaning a sub n diverges your series diverges if your a if your L is less than 1 meaning your a sub n which is your series it converges if your L is equals to 1 you can't make a conclusion from here no conclusion you can make a conclusion from there okay so 
having this knowledge here and look at what you have it's zero zero is less than one meaning our series converges okay so let's look at the second example so these conclusions here we're going to be using them for both then for this one um, as I said when you when you have a factorial it's much convenient for you to use uh, the the ratio test so I'll say the limit as n approaches infinity for the ratio test we say a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n this one is supposed to give us L then from that L once again you look at what you have is it less than 1 is it greater than 1 or is it equals to 1 so your a sub n plus 1 what you have here is your a sub n a sub n plus 1 simply means whenever every anywhere where you have n add the 1 okay so I can write this as n plus 1 plus 1 okay it's like n plus 1 on this part plus this one here so that would just be like n plus n plus 2 divide by so this would be n plus 1 factorial but if you're very familiar with factorial factorials you you will know to say n plus 1 multiplied by factor n factorial is equals to that one there okay you can actually try to prove that but that's not my focus in this video so meaning this would be like n plus sorry multiplied by n factor and you see why I'm writing it this way because I have to cancel out something at some point that's why I'm doing that so you're going to say your limit as n approaches infinity then you have your a sub n plus 1 which is your n plus 2 divided by your n plus 1 multiplied by n factorial so this will be divided by your a sub n. What is your a sub n? Your a sub n is n plus 1 divided by n factorial. So this will be like limit as n approaches infinity. You still have your n plus 2 divided by n plus 1 by n factorial multiplied by the reciprocal of that. That would be n factorial divided by n plus 1. Okay, interesting so that no 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 we can't cancel out so the only thing we can cancel out is the factorial so this one and that one can go okay so that would be like the limit as n approaches infinity then that would be your n plus 2 divided by i can expand what i have here because those are multiplying each other that would be your n squared plus 2n plus 1 like that Okay, so if you actually evaluate this one here, you observe that that would be equals to zero. I would want to go through like step by step, but anyway, let me just talk about it. So you can actually multiply everything here that you have by one over n, or divide everything by n to simplify it. So that we like limit as n is equals to as n goes to infinity, that would be your n divided by n is one plus. 2 divided by n is 2 over n divided by so n squared divided by n that would be n plus 2n divided by n that would be a 2 plus 1 over n is just 1 over n okay so when you evaluate here you observe to say this and that will give you a 0 then it's more like let's say you have limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n plus n plus 2 okay what does this give you when you plug in infinity there that would be like 1 over infinity that would be a 0 and we want to say when L is less than 1 of which is 0 is less than 1 meaning your a sub n which is your series it converges so that one converges there by applying the, the ratio test let's look at the third one so the third one which is C it also has a factorial so I'm prompted to use um, the ratio test so as n approaches infinity so my a sub n plus 1 we say a sub n plus 1 will be equals to that would be your minus 3 to the power n plus 1 okay but it's much it's much better if I was just to multiply it by what by 3 okay okay just multiplying it by 3 because like the bases are the same meaning 
that I styled the one there, but you might wonder to say, why am I just writing positive instead of the, with this negative? It's because I'll be using absolute values as, uh, it's like the absolute value, so there's no need for me to worry about the negative. Then divide by, that will be n plus 1, multiply by n factor, I believe by now you know why I've written it like that. So that would be minus 3 to the power n, multiply by 3, divide by n plus 1 multiply by n factorial so here I'm supposed to divide by a sub n which is this one but I'm going to just going to multiply it by the uh, reciprocal of a sub n which is n factorial divide by minus 3 to the n like that so you observe to say this and that cancels out this and that cancels out which is actually very interesting there's always that point where you cancel out something if you don't do that you might have made a mistake somewhere so this would be like the limit <coughs> excuse me as n approaches infinity of 3 over n plus 1 like that so observe to say this also takes you to what to l which is equals to 0 and that converges because it's less than 1 by applying the ratio test let's look at the last one okay so f for the last one I don't know if you think I don't know if you feel on your own you can use uh, the root test uh, it can work perhaps it can work but I would want to simplify my work by just using the by just using the the ratio test okay so I'll say the limit as n approaches infinity okay so what is my a sub n so before I write what my a sub n is let me try to simplify this so I can write this as minus 1 to the power n minus 1 okay to the power n minus 1 uh, or perhaps instead of doing that uh, since this is minus 1 okay it's more like you are multiplying by n to the power negative 1 uh, no, no 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 not that let me just leave this one there it is yeah 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 then for this one I'll write 3 to the n okay then divide by n to the n okay but everything is divided by n to the n so meaning this will be like divide by n squared multiplied by n to the n I'll not have to put this together for now at least so now I'm going to say this is my a sub n mind you then my a sub n plus 1 is equals to that would be like my negative 1 to the n minus 1 I'm supposed to add the 1 here okay but I won't do that because I want to cancel that out at some point so I'll just multiply this by negative 1 okay of which again you, you observe or remember to say because of these symbols here I won't have to worry about that negative so then I'll multiply it by 3 to the n plus 1 once again I won't have to say plus 1 because I want to cancel out the, the 3 to the n I'll just multiply this by 3 then uh, divide by that will be open bracket n plus 1 squared multiplied by that will be n plus 1 to the power uh, to the power n here okay to the power n plus 1 like that okay so let's see what we what we have so this would be uh, minus 1 to the n minus 1 let me just ignore this multiply by 3 to the n by 3 divide by n plus 1 to the n plus 1 squared then n plus 1 to the n plus 1 multiply by the reciprocal of that which is n squared n to the n divide by minus 1 to the n minus 1 multiply by 3 to the n like that okay which is pretty interesting so uh, we observe that this and that cancels out this and that cancels out okay so what we remain with is this is the limit as n approaches infinity okay 
then on the numerator I have 3 to the n squared then n to the n divide by uh, uh, that would be divide by n plus 1 squared then that is going to be n plus n plus 1 n plus 1 to the n plus 1 like that okay so let's see uh, is this con is this convenient enough to to cancel out something uh, no that doesn't work okay uh, maybe it can work but it will eventually take me a lot of time yeah so let me not risk it let me try to use the 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 root test yeah let me try to use the root test so once again i can write this as a sub n uh can write this as a sub n then that would be equals to minus one to the n minus one then that would be 3 to the n divided by n squared by n to the n. Okay, so that would be the limit as n approaches infinity. Then I'll just use brackets here. That would be minus 1 to the n minus 1, then 3 to the n divided by n squared. Then that would be n to the n to the power 1 over 1 over n. So let's distribute that power. Let's see what we get. Uh, that would be minus 1. Then that would be n minus 1 divided by n. That is when you multiply it by that. Then that would be multiplied by 3. Because n multiplied by this, that would be a 1. So like I have a 1 there. I don't have to write it. So divide by. That would be n to the power 2 over n. Multiply by n like that okay mm. so let me further write this I think it will work so as the limit as n approaches infinity of that would be minus 1 to the now just 1 minus right 1 minus 1 over n multiply by 3 divide by uh, n to the n over n multiply by multiply by n like that okay so uh, what does this become can we do direct substitution so when you substitute for this part you're going to get a zero Okay, and for this part you're going to get a 1 why am I talking about a 1 it's because when you have like n to the 2 over n plug in infinity there so 2 divided by infinity that is 0 so n to the 0 so it's more like infinity to the power 0 that would be like a 0 because anything to the power 0 is 0 sorry anything to the power 0 is a 1 so we have a 1 at this point then you observe that you won't, you won't have to worry about um, you don't have to worry about this negative here because that would just be positive then for this one that would be a 3 3 divided by this infinity here um, 3 divided by that infinity there that would be a 0 so you get a 0 and that tells you to say uh, your a is equals to 0 of which that shows that it converges because your a is less than 1 so we have gotten this by applying the root test the ratio test maybe could have worked but it could have taken a lot of time so that's basically how we answer those questions by either applying the root test and the ratio test don't forget to get to check the link in the description to look at the introduction to the root test and the ratio test as well as more examples so that's why in this video thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one